An optimally performed cortical cleavage hydrodissection is pivotal to achieving an optimal end result in phacoemulsification surgery. Now the prerequisite for a well-performed hydrodissection, so you've got to start with a well-constructed 2.8 tunnel. Why 2.8? Because you want large enough a tunnel to not only let the visco come out but also have enough room for the fluid wave which is injected to create the hydrodissection to come out of the eye with ease without adding excessive posterior word pressure on the posterior capsule. The other prerequisites include a complete capsular rexis, good illumination and a perfect focus on the capsular rexis edge to be able to perform a perfect cortical cleavage hydrodissection. The cannula is subject to every surgeon's personal choice and what I use is the company Sharp Edge which makes this 27 gauge cannula which is flattened at its anterior end. Before performing the hydrodissection, it's important to prime the cannula. Let's now understand the technique. At the outset, you need to press on the posterior lip of the 2.8 tunnel to decompress the anterior chamber to make room for the hydrofluid as it exits the capsular bag. The hydrodissection cannula duly primed is introduced under direct visualization just deep to the capsule, elevated and the hydro procedure carried out. After the first injection, the nucleus is decompressed and the same procedure is carried out at another point. Generally, two injections I find is adequate. Viscoelastic is then introduced into the anterior chamber before performing a rotation of the nucleus to confirm adequate and complete hydrodissection. Here's another case. The cannula once primed is introduced into the anterior chamber. The posterior corneal lip depressed to remove some viscoelastic and here's the hydrocannula that makes its way under direct visualization very slowly and carefully into the subcapsular space. It is elevated before injecting a sharp jet of fluid. And note how the nucleus rises. Once decompressed, the same procedure is carried out at another clock hour. Once completed, the surgeon introduces viscoelastic to deepen the anterior chamber and then proceeds to rotating the lens. The globe stabilized with the limb's forceps and then the Sinsky hook is placed in the mid periphery, held firmly and turned around through one 360 degree turn. Yet another case of hydrodissection. The surgeon decompresses the anterior chamber, goes deep to the rexis and injects. And you can see the wave going all the way around. Here's the second wave, which results in hydrodelineation and the elevation of the nucleus out of the capsular bag. And this case wherein the surgeon injects hesitantly and then another injection that results in the completion of the wave followed by decompression and followed by a hydrodelineation on the other side resulting in the endonucleus.